Hello guys, Harsh here from Android Solutions. So guys, today I'm going to show you how you can install the Android 7 or Android Nougat in your Samsung Galaxy S2 S2 but make sure that this is a the alpha ROM uh, which means it is not uh, fully stable and official but it's booting normally for now. So if you guys want to try this ROM you can uh, because this ROM is not uh, suitable for daily use uh, till now so guys first of all you have to download one file whose link will be in description box below which you have to place in your external SD card so guys here is the file AOSP Kyloprots OTA English root zip this one uh, its size is about 278 point 69 MB so you can download it from the links given below so first of all let me show you my current ROM version let me quickly jump up into about phone now here you can see device model is GT S7 5.2 that is our Samsung Galaxy S2 S2 with Android version 5.1.1 that is lollipop And this is the res Resurrection Remix uh, Lollipop version. So on it, I'm going to flash the, the uh, Android Nougat ROM. So guys, first of all, you have to jump up into the TWRP recovery. Firstly, power of your device. wait till it's completely uh, turn off now my device has completely turn off now I have to go into a TWRP recovery by pressing this volume uh, power key home button and volume up uh, three of them together for 8 to 15 seconds now you can see the red exclamation mark now you can release the buttons it will take you to the TWRP now you firstly have to click on this never show this message screen during boot again and swipe to allow the modification if you don't see this message well and good and guys if you don't know how to install the TWRP in this Samsung Galaxy S2 S2 you can check out my tutorial on this how to install TWRP in S2 S2 and can install the latest TWRP that is TWRP3 because this Nougat ROM will not flash with TWRP 2.8.1.0 or lower version it will only be flash in TWRP3 or maybe in 2.8.7.0 also I have not checked it so guys first of all make sure to backup everything and select it to micro SD card and swipe to make the backup actually I have already made the backup so I will not uh, remake the backup after because backup is necessary because if uh, like if you don't like this room you can just uh, go back to the previous room which is currently on this device so guys you can see that here is my backup and if I swipe to restore here then my device will be the same as before but first of all let me click on this pipe button after that you have to click on this advanced wipe and select the first five options it will wipe your device now back back format data type yes click on it And guys, now you have to install the ROM. Go to your external SD card and locate the ROM. Here is my ROM. And guys, make sure uh, flash this ROM at your own risk because this is a pre-alpha ROM and not stable for now. So if you want to try it, you can or just simply uh, remain on the current ROM which you have. So now swipe to confirm the flash. 
take up some time in flashing up. So wait up gently. And guys you can see that my channel is also for the Redmi Note 3 where you can find a different tutorials on this on the Redmi Note 3 device. If you also have the Redmi Note 3 then make sure to check out my channel. It has uh, many uh, tutorials related to the Redmi Note 3 like installing the TWR3 in Redmi Note 3, unlocking the bootloader of Redmi Note 3 mainly for those guys whose bootloader struck at the 50% and various roms for the redmi note 3 so make sure to check it out so guys here you can clearly see kylo plots 7.0 that is android 7 which is android nougat or you can say android nova Also I will make a new video after this Android 7 will be totally stable for our Redmi uh, for our SOS 2. So you make sure to check out my channel after some time and please subscribe so that you can get the updates automatically. So guys you can see that the blue bar is now almost filled. Guys, now you can click on this reboot system button. And guys, you can see the new boot animation with this four multicolor uh, dots. It will take up little, little of time in booting up. And guys, if you want me to make any particular video on any of the device, either on Redmi Note 3 or Samsung Galaxy S2 S2, you can message me or comment down in, on the comment section below. If you face any difficulties during the installation, you can whatsapp me at my number which will be in the description box below so actually guys you will not see this boot screen because i actually have inserted the sim lock you can see this screen after you flash the room successfully it is asking for the preferred network uh, you can click on no or yes according to your choice so guys you can see that it is our android nougat room and here you can see some changes you can see this google search bar on the top of the screen with this android nougat background and you can see that it is based on these uh, cyanogen mode roams basically and after you pull down it, it a little bit you can see some toggles on the top and after you fully uh, swipe it down below you can see all the menus here here is the flashlight and photo rotation is also here brightness bar now guys let us quickly jump up into the settings and guys here you can see the top here it is written that cellular data is off because i have make it off So guys after you jump up into the settings you can see that my android version is now showing android 7 that is android nougat but you can see that no uh, android game is there in this android 7 nougat but you can just see this uh, red shop button with this mini cat emoji so simply go back and you can here file the build, uh, build number uh, model number 
and moreover if you jump up into the settings here you can see that it is showing the average memory used by our device total memory is 719 according to this because systems files will also take up some memory and here you can see that this uh, you can see many display options here back and guys you can see there is there are not, uh, not much apps in this app drawer uh, that's pretty cool because it will make our device smoother and faster let us check whether the wi-fi is working or not Let me quickly insert my password. So guys you can see that the Wi-Fi is working absolutely fine and actually I haven't seen any web browser here. So we can't do the search work. Let us quickly type here. Let us quickly check it down here. So as you can see in the top it is showing that it's a browser tester. So guys as I said that the browser is not working fine you can check it out with the other browsers whether it's working fine or not so guys that's all in this video if you like my video then please subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned for the stable room of the android nougat for our samsung galaxy s2s2